it's Sunday. Time to focus our energy for the week. Come on in and join me. Come on in and join me. Let's look at the energy. Lots to talk about. As always, the cosmos are alive and so is our energy. Come on in and join me. Check it out. We're going to pick some cards and we're going to talk about what the focus is for this week. All right, come on in and join. Say hello. Tell me what's going on. What have you noticed? How many people can tell Mercury has gone direct? Yay! But we still have other planets. Mars is starting to make that turn. Yay, that'll be another one we'll be glad to see. So come on in and say hello as we focus our energy, align ourselves, and prepare for the energy that's coming up in this week. Definitely. Terry Ann Hyman here, Natural Forces Studio and the Empowered Spirit Circle on Facebook and the Empowered Spirit Show on Podcast Land. Come on in and say hello. Do me a favor and share this out. Maybe there's somebody that needs some energy this week that needs a little bit of focusing. All right, I'm seeing people coming in. Hey, Millie, I'm on Facebook Live as well as Instagram, coming to you from both. What a great day I had. I taught Reiki, one of my most favorite things to teach. I taught someone from the Birmingham Zoo. How awesome is that to think about the energy for the animals coming forward? Very exciting. Had a great mix of people. So many people that were there today really loved it. It is, like I said, one of my most favorite things to do. Opening up this energy, sharing it out into the world, raising the vibrations. What are you doing to help raise the vibrations of our planet right now? What is it? Let me hear below. Are you getting outside? Are you connecting with your spirit? Are you opening up your spiritual path? These are all things that we can do. And the more that we do it, for ourselves, that energy radiates out for all the world as well. So I'm going to just share this into the Empowered Spirit Circle. If you're not in the group, come on over. We do a lot of fun things. I'll invite you in, share a lot of articles, have a little chit chat here and there, just depending on what's going on. It's the Empowered Spirit Circle. I'll invite you in. Just the desire to connect more to spirituality is what that group is about. All right, let's see. I think I've got it. Whoops. I think I've got it already here. One more group. So hit share button for me. And then as you're waiting for me to get it together here, one more post. Pick a card between one and three. We're working with the wild unknown today. Very interesting cards that have come forward. Ask for the guidance for you. What is it that you need to open up to as we move into the direct motion of this energy, as we move out of all the intensity of the summer. Definitely, we are. Yes, we are going to start to see a shift. What have you seen? What have you already noticed? Can you tell me? Post below. Feeling better, feeling more alive, feeling a lot of still struggle. What is it that's going on for you? All right, I got one more group here to show. Hey, if you want to learn anything about video making, check out Brad Powell's and the awesome video group he has awesome video makers he is really great and will help you learn how to do videos he is really good let me just find it and we can get on with this i can't find it i can't spell right now all right i am really just up on cloud nine had a great reiki class it feels so good to offer this service out into the world all right so what is going on this week first and foremost Many of you have probably already heard Mercury went direct. It's stationed direct. Yay! Very exciting about that. Now we will begin to really start to feel some of that direct motion. Now, the thing to remember this week is that it will take a few days to start to really get into that forward motion. So what the tendency is that we're going to want to speed up and get those projects done and have all that energy but take a chill still, all right? It takes Mercury a couple of days to get really back into that direct motion. So take a chill, calm down. It's gonna be a fun week, really, especially as we move in. Tuesday and Wednesday are gonna be the most productive week. We're gonna find that the collaboration and working with people is coming forward. So that's a really good thing. And then the energy is gonna to start to build. Of course, we're moving into a full moon in Pisces towards the end of the week. Next Sunday, we'll be talking more about that. But you're gonna feel that intensity move forward. Now, we're still going to feel a little bit of that Mars fire energy, which how many people have seen it outside at the night sky, right? It's beautiful. It's glowing red. And it is going to start to then move out of its retrograde, which has been a lot of the 
fire energy and that communication and that shift of energy and all that stuff going on. Yes, Mercury's communication, but Mars puts that in there too. So we're still going to feel a little bit of that like uh, feeling, you know what I mean? Like uh, feeling like you can't quite get what you need said done. You can't quite get those projects in motion. You feel still a little bit of that angst or that struggle but it is going to start to go direct as well and we're going to see some of the other planets coming out so there still is some retrograde energy going on the big one mercury has gone direct so that's going to feel really good and then by thursday we're going to feel a little bit of that intensity as the moon builds it's in pisces what does that mean pisces is our emotional energy pisces is our spiritual energy our intuitive energy so we're going to feel a little bit of that emotional body filling up again but it is going to be a good week to try to get things done. Start slow. Really important. Start slow. Slow down. Get things ready because by next week and the week after we are really, by the time we get into September, we're going to see a big shift in energy. So be prepared. What do you need to do? Clean out. Review. Renew. Figure out. What are all those things that have been coming up for you these last few weeks? What are they? These last few months, I really should say. This summer, this last whole season, what has been coming up for you? What are the things that you are being forced to look at? Those are the things that can help you to really move out and move forward. Ron Harris, good to see you, my friend. Congratulations on that new baby. Yes, so what are those things that you can work with for your own energy and get rid of? Quit hanging on to it. Let go of some of that struggle. That's what this whole energy of the eclipses have been about. And now it's time to kind of close that door, but we have to take this work forward. We have to renew and review ourselves and then move it forward, make some shifts, make some change. Change is a good thing. Don't keep holding on, doing the same thing, the same way over and over. It's time to create those shifts. And we've had so much planetary action, so much cosmic action that is helping us to do it. So why not make some shifts and changes in your life? Don't hold on to the same old stuff day after day after day. We really don't want to do that. So as we build towards this full moon, what is it you can bring forward for you? This is where we put out those biggest intentions. I know we talk about the new moon, that you want to put those out, but really as this moon is really coming into fullness, that's when you bring all of this light out forward. That's when you want to really get out there. Now, I know we say this every full moon, but this particular full moon will be a really great time to cleanse your crystals from all of that eclipse energy, all that stress and struggle we've been going forward. This is going to kind of open the door to that new energy coming forward. So these are the things that we have to look forward to as we move through the week. So again, Monday, just kind of start slow. Good time to collaborate. Tuesday and Wednesday are very creative days. So all that collaborating, but don't try to move too fast. Don't try to start new contracts. Get them ready, all right? And then by the time we move through that full moon and into next week, let Mars start to go direct. I think that happens on the 27th. Then you're going to see that you can make some of these contracts for you, all right? You want, don't want to have to redo and redo and redo. So get it ready. And then you'll see by the end of this week, towards next week, you're going to be able to feel that forward motion. And by September, it's going to be happening faster than we've seen it in a while. So get ready. Be prepared. Get all this out of the way now. And especially this week, really set those intentions out there to help your own self move forward. All right? That's what we can see this week. So let's just take a moment and ground our energies together and see what it feels like to slow down. All right, I know I'm all excited, had a great class today, get all charged, but take a moment. Take a deep breath and just call back your energy from the week, all right? Call it back. Call it back. All those many parts that we've scattered all around. Call back your energy and just exhale down. Exhale the stress and the struggle, let it go. And then inhale, bring the breath fresh from the earth up through the body, open up the higher realms. And then as you exhale, call in your higher guidance. Call it in. Feel that alignment coming into play for you. Feel the alignment, spiritual body into physical body. This is how we center. This is how we ground. This is how we collect all that energy, all that running around. And exhale away the excess energy. Exhale away all that extra energy that's not even yours from everybody else. Let it go. As we begin to prepare for this, prepare for this week, bring in that energy center. Take a deep inhale, and then exhale down. Slow down. We need to start off slow for this week. Slow down, let go of the angst, let go of the anxiety that comes in on Sunday night. Know that this is a fun week. 
Mercury's going direct. We still have to slow down so that we can all catch this energy up and align with the cosmos. And again, take a nice deep inhale. And then exhale away. This is how we slow down. You could do this at work. When you come into your office, sit at your desk for a moment and take a few breaths and then begin your work. You'll feel a little more centered and a little bit more calm. And that's what you're going to need this week, especially tomorrow as we start in. All right. So we're going to look at the cards today. How does that feel, right? It feels a little better when we can slow down. Give me a thumbs up, right? It feels a little better. We can breathe and we can open up that energy. It definitely feels better. I know it does for me. All right. So drawing from the wild unknown. Love these cards. And they're very interesting cards. All right. There we go. There is some, there is some hearts coming forward. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Hello, Leanne. Hey, Vicki. All right, guys. So, here we go. We're going to look at the card. So, pick one, two, or three. We're going to start with the universal card for all of us, and then we're going to see how these one, two, and three choices can affect this energy, too. So, the first card that came up is the Five of Swords. This is not a very pretty card, all right? I admit, this is definitely not a pretty card, and it's reversed. So, when it's reversed, it kind of means that it's underneath the surface. Now, this card, see, look, it looks like earthworms. It looks like cutting off. This is the energy that we do that is really kind of self-destructive. So this is asking us to look underneath. Where are we cutting ourselves off? Where are we cutting ourselves off in our thought? Because thought is the swords. So where are you really just psyching yourself out? Telling you these things, I'm not good, I can't do this, it's so hard. This is what cuts you off from being connected to the universe. So being that it's reversed, it's like you may not be aware of it. All right, and that's especially in the mental plane, like all those things we keep telling ourselves over and over and over and over. That's what this card is about. So what do we do? We need to turn this around, just like this direct motion coming out. Stop the chatter of the mind. Stop psyching yourself out. That's just disruptive energy. We don't need it. So turn that around. When you find yourself caught in that energy, take a pause and turn the energy around. Offer gratitude. That's the best way to get out of this energy. Gratitude for what you do have and not stress and struggle for what you don't. We don't want to cut ourselves off from the universe, from our connection, from our vibration either. So that's a great one for all of us to remember as we come out of this energy, let go of that destructive thought, quit cutting ourselves off by being really harsh. All right, whether it's on yourself or somebody else, really return to that vibration of gratitude. So for those that picked card number one, we have a seven of wands, but it's reversed as well. It's upside down. And this card is all about finding that inner light and shining that inner light. So when it's reversed, it's almost like you're cutting yourself off too. Same energy of that card too, because we're really hiding that light. We're hiding it within. And this is all about opening up. See how this card opens up to the fire and the light within. So this is about really starting to open up and shine your own light, like, like really bring this forward. So when we cut out the chatter of the mind, we can shine our light and have the courage to stand in our passions. And that's exactly what this card is about. Find that courage. Don't take it for granted. All right, all my energy workers out there, don't take it for granted. Do this work with gratitude, with really like, yes, this is my gift. All right, got it, excellent. All right, Ron, yay. All right, this is my gift. Shine that light so others will shine, definitely. Now, this is my favorite card of the day, the number two. This is definitely about direct determination. All right, a choice is coming forward. Be that choice. Look at all the rainbows. Look at all the beautiful colors. Look, and that's passion and desire. Look how it's pointing to that unified point. All right, this is that card that is going to help you go direct. So as you go through this week, where can you find that determination? And maybe you've been sitting in a little bit of that, I don't know what to do. I can't make up my mind. Now's the time. Now's the time. I'm getting a haircut this week. Just you wait. Now's the time to go forward with passion, with desire, and let this turn you around so you can shine your light and you can have those high vibrations of thought. Love that card, two of wands. All right. Now, the next card we got is a major arcana, and it's the Wheel of Fortune. 
All right, look at all that that's going on. Look at the owl, look at the moon, look at the world. So many connections. Now, this card was also reversed, which means sometimes when we have the wheel of fortune, we always talk about we're on top, be grateful because it's going to turn. And we're on the bottom, be grateful because it's going to turn. So this was reversed, meaning things are Yay, gonna start to turn around. So if you, I dropped it. So if you chose this card, know that things are gonna start to turn around, all right? You have to work with the energy a little bit. You have to do your work, you have to slow down, but keep putting that positive vibration out there. Not the negative, not the cuts, right? Really, and this card will start to turn around. And if you do feel like you're at the bottom of the wheel, offer gratitude because it's gonna start to shift. And the more in that positive frame of mind, that bountiful, beautiful, blissful energy, you can turn this around for you. How many people feel that? Like you feel like, oh, life is so hard. I wish it could get easier, right? Give me a hands up if you do. But this is the energy that it's time to change. And we're gonna see this with the cosmos. We have had an intense summer. We have, there's no way around it, we have. And we still have some more energy coming forward. We see this, but we're gonna start to see things starting to move and starting to change. I know I could probably get a hallelujah on that one, right? Definitely getting some thumbs up. So that is definitely what is going on. And the cards are really, as always, they're in really good alignment with the energy of today and the direct motion of Mercury. Soon Mars will follow in the full moon that's coming in. So we have to do a little work, get out of the chatter of the mind, right? Quit cutting yourself off, quit being mean to yourself or even others, right? Don't do that, that just isolates you. So turn that around, be positive, find the gratitude in your light, Start to shine your light even brighter. Don't let it dim. Turn it around. Shine your light out into the world. There's a great decision coming forward. Now's the time. And this is passion and desire. All right. This is pointing to that new energy. Look at that. This is awesome. Which is also helping you to turn the wheel. We need to turn the wheel. So maybe there's some circumstances in your life where you feel like you're on the bottom. Now's the time to turn it around and move forward. Use the wisdom of the moon coming in. That's going to bring that illumination. The wisdom that shows the owl. Wisdom, right? I love that. All right, take a deep breath. See how this resonates with you. Let me know. And I'm up for picking a few cards before we head off for today. So definitely coming up this week, let's see. Powered Spirit Show, my podcast. I'd love it. If you didn't hear, I just got picked up on iHeartRadio. Yay. And one more platform. It's a secret. I've been selected as a beta tester, a really big platform. Super excited for that to come forward. So this week, I will be finishing up the podcast series I've been doing on CBD oils. Amazing series. Talked to so many people. I've been learning so much about the CBD oils, the cannabis, the hemp. Check it out. Empowered Spirit Show. And you will learn more, too. I promise you. Spiritually, why are these oils coming out? They're really good information out there. Check it out. You can find it on iTunes. You can find it on Apple Play. You can find it on the Android devices, Spotify, iHeart, all of these. You can download it. Check it out. Really great information on there. All right. That is what is coming forward on the podcast this week. All right. So I got a couple of people asking for cards. All right. 89 Martinez. All right, we got 89 Martinez. You'll take a card and a light love wants one and her mom too. All right, here we go. This one is for you, 89 Martinez. All right, this one is the Nine of Swords. Look at all that junk. All right, you got a little work to do this week to clear all that junk out. That is the chatter of the mind, my friend. That is the chatter of the mind. And all you have to do is just clear it out. Let it go. Do some meditation. Do some breathing this week. All right. There's still something that's bothering you and it's time to let that shit go. It really is. You don't want to be all that clogged energy. Do some breathing. Do some energy work and release it. And as that full moon comes out, it's time to put new energy out there. Let the summer go. It really is. Time to put some new energy out there for you. All right. Yes. Namaste to you too. All right, light, uh, a light love. This one is for your mother. This one is the ten, the ten of swords. All right, and this was as a completion. All right, now it was upside down. So there is something that she's working on that she's holding on to too. It's time to kind of let that go. It has come to a conclusion. Sometimes we hold on to things way too long. So I don't know exactly what that is for your mom, but it is a ten, and it is time. She's holding on to something that it's time to 
done, be done, let it go so that something new can come in. Really important. We all tend to do that. We hold on to stuff way too long. Really learning how to release energy so that new energy can come in is really important. All right, Elate Love, this one is for you. Oh, another two. But this one is a little bit more about indecision. Two of, two of swords, so that's the mental. So are you going through something, a light love, that you haven't been able to make a decision on? Now's the time to get out of that indecision. Bring in the power. This is like the sun. This is almost like an eclipse energy. Bring in that alignment so you can break apart the swords and move forward. All right, this is a good time. So take this week. To make that decision by the end of the week make the decision and bring some action into that because right now it's stuck up here right this 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 we do this all right all right lots of hearts lots of lots of love there all right hopefully that was helpful let me know all right let's see over here vicky anybody want a card kevin and i are watching all right yay i love you too vicky well this one's for you last week i missed out seeing your request oh father of pentacles and you said kevin was watching with you all right this is a beautiful card to know that you have all that you need it may be a challenging time right now but that money this is pentacles this is money look at the antlers there's knowledge up here and there's an ability to bring this in forward and have that strength and that security and that grounding energy that you need all right hopefully that resonates with you as well definitely i miss you vicky yeah all right, let's see. Who else? Leanne. Love a card. All right, Leanne, this is for you. This is the lover's card. How nice is that? In this particular deck, they do really talk about the lover's card as being the energy that keeps us together, that everlasting love. So where can you renew this energy for you? Is this about you and yourself or you and someone else? Which is it? And be really strong and clear with that. And don't take love for granted. Don't take love for granted. I love this. Look at the rainbows. Look at them flying. Look at that, just that amazing radiant light coming out. That is for you. All right. All right. That was awesome. All right. Let's see. Who else? Brett. Brett, how you doing? All right. And Millie, too. All right, Brett, we have the Eight of Cups. Now, there's something about the Eight of Cups here. There's one little thing hanging out. All right. There's one cup that is upside down. So there's something there that's getting in the way of you really opening up your heart. What is it, Brett? What is that one little cup that needs to turn around? There's something in the emotional body that's holding on. So finding that energy and reaching out, eight is about infinite potential, all right? So don't, don't feel that that potential isn't there. There's just a little more healing that needs to occur. Look at the moon on top, the sun below. That one cup needs to turn up right side up, all right? What is that for you and where can you find that energy to shift it for this week, all right? A really great week to do this because we have this energy shifting and coming out of that retro, going direct and forward. So a good time to start turning around, just like that Wheel of Fortune. A really good time to start turning that around. All right, Millie, how about for you? Millie, are you in Tuscaloosa? All right, we got the Nine of Cups, Millie. All right, so this is about that emotional energy too. And so there's still more to come in for the heart energy, all right? And as we go into that full moon, where can you open up to a little bit more? All right, that's what nines are about. Almost completion, but a little bit more of energy coming in. This is also a card of not to be taken for granted, all right? Really putting gratitude out for what you have and know that there's always room for a little more. I love that. Opening up to that emotional body. You'll probably start to feel more of that towards the end of the week as we move into that full moon, all right? So, Manyo, this card is for you. I love it. Everybody's in tonight. Yay. All right, this is the Three of Pentacles. So, the Three of Pentacles is that initial completion. You started an idea. You've worked on a little bit. Now, you take a step back. Now, sometimes that can feel like, oh, there's a huge mountain in front of me. But that's not really the case. Take what you've learned one step at a time. Don't try to move the whole mountain, all right? Know that the work that you're doing is good, that three of pentacles comes in to show there is prosperity, but don't feel like you're like, oh, I've got to do all of this at once. Take what you've learned, take it another step and another step and another step, and that's going to help to move out what feels like a huge mountain in front of you, all right? Hope that's helpful too. Give me a thumbs up and let me know. All right, Georgina, how about a card for you? Oh, I love this. This is the nine of pentacles. This is like a wish card. Look at all that abundant energy. Look how it's in the center of all those feathers. 
beautiful card. All right. So really, again, offering gratitude and keep that wheel turning for you to bring that in. So if you haven't offered gratitude for what you're doing or feel like you're not in that energy, bring this energy forward. Go through this week. Look through the feather. Look for the feathers. Look for the signs. Be in that connection of all that abundant energy. That's a really beautiful card. I really love this. Look at the reds and the yellows around it. Look at all that centered energy of pentacles. A really great card for going into this week. Where can you expand upon all of that energy? All right, Patrick, how you doing in Opalaka? All right, here we go. Patrick, you drew another owl, daughter of swords. All right. Daughter of Swords is having that innocence of life, not being too critical with yourself, having the wisdom to pull through the energy of what you see, pulling it out. See all the little dots there? But don't be too critical. Again, Swords is of the mind. Have the innocence of life and just observe. Be a witness to your life. Don't be so critical with it, all right? That's a good card to go forward with. All right, yep, you'll have to find out what that card is. Millie, yes, she is. All right, Mary, I'm going to draw a card for you. The Chariot. I love this. This is about a new direction. I love this. And this deck, look how beautiful this is. This has taken all your knowledge. Look at that moon right on the forehead. Look at the pentacle around the neck. And taking that new direction. Horsepower. Get in your Chariot. Know you have the tools to take this new direction for you. And go forward. I love it. Take it easy and then get going towards the end of the week. A beautiful card for this week. Bring in that forward motion. Definitely. All right. Got some thank yous here. Hopefully that was helpful. If I didn't get you, maybe post again. A lot of great energy. A lot of great things coming forward. All right. Thank you. I think she understands. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Very good. So again, just to kind of recap, Monday, tomorrow, as you go to your work week, you find a little energy in the fun, all right? We're in the late summer. Collaborate with people. Don't try to move too fast. Tuesday and Wednesday are going to be our best creative and most productive days. By the time we get to Thursday, we're going to start to feel the full moon, all right? And that's coming forward in that Pisces energy, all right? So get prepared. Get your crystals ready. Cleanse them. That's the most important thing from all that summer energy, all the eclipse energy, Cleanse them out, and then you're going to be able to set some really great new intentions before the full moon. That'll be next Sunday. Actually, we'll do that next Sunday, all right? We'll get that energy ready, all right? Be sure to download the podcast. Check it out. It was a really phenomenal city series on CBD oils. I will be offering more classes on the CBDs. I'll be doing some Reiki in, in the CBD oils, the hemp plants. I just think it's amazing and all that it can do and sharing more information about that as well. Check it out. Follow me. Share this out. If you need help in starting a spiritual practice, go on over to my website, Terry Ann Hyman, and get my free guide. It will give you five simple steps to setting up a practice for you. We all need it. We need it. We need it. We need it. Help to raise mankind. Help to raise the vibration of humanity by setting up your own practice connecting with your inner self and doing this work you will feel empowered and if you want some private help reach out all right reach out i'm going to be offering some readings actually i'm going to put out a poll a survey and you can get some meditations and some readings from me for answering that so look for that as well thank you guys so much i get so excited to see everybody online thank you so much share this out look for these messages as you move out into the work week this week and let me know what you find let me know how these cards really help to guide you as you move forward always a pleasure to talk to everyone thank you so much for showing up take a deep inhale and exhale out thank you guys to your spirit namaste thank you